So yesterday I decided to run my name on the DOD's website, do a background check on myself. And I'm proud to say that I am on the FBI, CIA, Interpol, and the DOJ's watch list. Same thing, our forefathers were could What are they watching you because you're so thumb-like that they're surprised you're not a f***ing cop? You're on their watch list because they were like, this man is a cop. This man was born a cop. This man literally came out of the womb a f***ing cop. They're just, they're, they're fascinated. They're fascinated because he's a signed cop at birth and they're like, wait, wait a minute, are you sure? You're not one of us? Considered extremist. They actually killed their children, the Brits did, because they signed the Declaration of Independence. What? They sacrificed so did because- Dude, I love when these guys have like a little bit of theater spark in them. You know what I mean? They're, it, that just makes the content so much better. You know this is one of those guys. The moment that they can like hold a conversation, carry on with a monologue without dropping a beat, that's when you know these motherfuckers are like, they're, they're kind of, they're theater kids. Because they signed the Declaration of Independence. They sacrificed so much for our freedoms today that are getting stripped away. Okay, by the alphabet mafia, by the pronoun mafia, by my feelings mafia, and by a tyrannical government that are overstepping their bounds for many, many years now. By the way, this is just like hog Aaron Sorkin. This man is every bit the annoying Aaron Sorkin ass motherfucker that every Aaron Sorkin loving, uh, West Wing watching, uh, dumbass lib is, okay? America used to be a proud nation. It used to be a good nation. And now, I'm afraid I can't... Aaron Porkin? Oh, no. Okay. I'm afraid I can no longer call it anything but an abomination. And if all of our politicians are doing masturbation, why can't we turn around and engage in procreation? Okay. So, I'm doing the right thing by speaking out against them. That's how you know, because I'm on their watch list. They don't want us to be a republic. They want to keep us a controlled democracy. Fuck them. Thank God I seen your video. I love when it's a particularly wet video. Like this one. You know what I mean? He's like, it's a beautiful day out here in Connecticut where I live, okay? I got my cars out here in the front yard. I'm cleaning them up. Shit's real moist out here. You understand? It's damp. It's damp as hell. And what a beautiful time to call for a military coup d'etat. Hey, Patriot standing by. Thank God I seen your video this morning because I would have totally forgotten. <laughs> See here in Kentucky, a strange thing is happening too. Look at that phenomenon up there. It's where the sun, it kind of hazes behind the clouds. That's exactly what happened. They really just start to record any fucking where, no planning, just raw dog in the creative process. That's how you're supposed to do it. Is when it's time to take over the fucking government. What? <laughs> <laughs> See here in Kentucky, a strange thing is happening too. Look at that phenomenon up there. It's where the sun, it kind of hazes behind the clouds. That's exactly what happens when it's time to take over the fucking government. Damn, dude. Let's go. I was wrong. I said Con Connecticut, but it was Kentucky. I clocked that Kentucky in from a mile away. Nothing funny about this post. Wait, I want to see your funny post now. Wait, I want to see your funny post. If this is like, if there's nothing funny about this post, I want to see what the funny ones look like. HR 4350 is a bill in the house that they have already passed. It lets the Democrats put Biden as a dictator over military and everything, which means Biden will go into martial law. When we go into martial law, they're only coming after conservatives and people trying to save america <laughs> how is she trying to save america what are you gonna do smoke more f virginia slims like what are you how are you saving america lady the liberal version of this is like literally being like oh well you know i'm not using a, a bag when i go to the when i go to erewhon i bring my own bag sweaty that's how i'm saving the world and <laughs> her version of that is literally just like you know, yelling at brown people. Saving America, one, one store clerk at a time. This is no longer a joke. There's nothing funny about this. <laughs> we have got to wake up and fight. Fight like you've never fought before. 
I will go out in a blaze of glory before I turn against my heavenly father. The only thing she's fighting against is lung cancer, okay? Too many lung darts. Or before I turn against this country. Know that. <laughs> She'll go out in a blaze, all right? <laughs> Falling asleep while smoking. I want people to prepare for what is coming. I like this guy because he's always driving. A lot of these pussies don't actually f***ing drive while they're, like, filming themselves. Whereas this guy very actively is moving around in his, what I assume, Ford F-150. And I think that's cool. I bet if you asked him, he'd say women are worse drivers than men. <laughs> bigger than just food shortages and high gas prices. It's deeper than right versus left. Dude, I always wonder how it comes out like this. Do conservatives have, like... A different phone like why is it that conservative phones is like they always it looks like like it looks like uh like they filmed this on indian tiktok you know what i mean i don't know if it's like a specific filter that makes it unironically feel like it's like a much older phone or something it's like so filtered out that it just feels like a like a much much older phone what you are witnessing and about to really understand this is about good versus evil. Yeah, she got the Mexico filter on, dude. How far down the rabbit hole are you willing to look? I want Wait. He didn't even say nothing. Yo, I hate these TikToks, man. All you're doing is just like... This is like a retweet, you know what I mean? It's not even a retweet, though. It's like when you quote tweet and you don't even say anything. You just do this on a quote tweet you know what i mean you see a tweet that's like popping off and then you do exactly this and then you put it like a like a finger emoji like you didn't do anything stop this is all to the vets and patriots out there there's no music on oh my god not the desert storm hat bro stop playing with me okay it's the best one america has done a lot of military conquests but the desert storm veterans are particularly chill why because because it is the quintessential american war okay where you went over there you did nothing okay you felt like shit you might have gotten anthrax poisoning or whatever the f kind of like weird vaccines the government made you take you you ate some go juice Okay, and then you came back and you were like, we did it. We did it. We fucking did it, bro. Boys, we did it. <laughs> There's nothing. You didn't do anything. It was awesome. On this. Just letting you know. Storm's coming. We need to be prepared. Yeah, Patriots calling all Patriots. A storm is coming. This will probably get taken down. But duet this, repost this. If you're not ready yet, it's time to get ready. The I mean, how is it any different than, like, 14-year-old um, anarchist on Reddit being like, we're doing a general strike. Like, the planning, the motivation, the supplies. The arming of all the rebels. Like, there's so much required to do what he is saying. And he's like, oh, yeah, we're going to do it. A storm is coming. Just, you know, repost my face. And we'll do it. This is the exact same shit as, like, anarchists on fucking TikTok and anarchists on Reddit being like, yeah, we're doing a general strike, comrades. Left is running rampant. And they're going to try to take rights away. And that's where the patriots and the vets need to stand up and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign or domestic. Wouldn't you literally be the domestic enemy if you accomplished what you were saying you want to accomplish? Like, if you set out to accomplish what you claim you want to accomplish, you would literally be the domestic enemy. Typical left, always getting what we want, no matter how. We always win. If I'm after Trump, and they hit him with some phony bullshit. And he's not able to run in 2024. It's on.
What are you going to do, bro? Beat your ex-wife harder? She's with another man now, okay? You can't do that anymore. Judge signed off on the restraining order, okay? What are you going to do? Are you going to punch more drywall? Jesus Christ. It's on. I'll get another tribal tattoo. You will never stop me. I'll keep blasting lung darts indoors, okay? Now that my bitch wife is no longer telling me I can't smoke inside. I'll drink all the goddamn monster energy drinks at the gas station, okay? You gonna cry more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll make another TikTok where I'm even more sad.